rooms full of goons, jail buses leaning, handcuffs squeezed too tight on you flight. If you fight, they just give in. People used to do sit-ins. They got Nigeria and Niger, two different countries. Somehow Niger turned a nigga, the shit got ugly. The problem is we started thinking like the colonists to know what Drew Ali started dropping their consciousness. Some bears about to come out. Um, we do a little quick intermission. Probably his bedroom or something. Man. I was serious. I'm, I'm throwing stuff in the back of the car trying to get in. I'm like, gosh, man, I'm gonna end up in the car. He's taking back to Jersey with me, trying to steal my stuff. Hey, um, what I wanted to touch on basically is gonna be really short. It's gonna be opening up the question and answers because I spoke with a couple. Um, like I do a lot of stuff. First of all, I've been four years. You know, a couple people here do know who I am. I've been on the radio for four years in Philadelphia. I used to be at WRD, but now I'm at um, WKDU. And um, KDU is a station that um, Mumia used to be on. Mumia, I'm going to be used to be on this radio station. And I know you. It's a pleasure to be here. The lady's the baddest journalist I've heard even in jail. That guy is a beast. And um, Pam Afford is trying to arrange something for me to meet up with him. But she said the way it has to happen, she says that I would have to write out what I'm gonna ask Tim. And he'll respond back to me like that, and then I'll take it to the radio, and then I'll play it. And that's how I have to go. I said, that's smart, because it's really like hard to get up there physically, because we'll be sitting up right now. And I know us two come together, they're gonna say, wait a minute. This guy's talking like this, and he's behind bars doing this, and those two guys come together, that's dangerous. And that's what happened when you studied what happened with Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. When those two was coming together, that was dangerous. So, like Brother Dio said, this, he started shifting and changing his consciousness because it was like the people that he was around. So, if you're around a certain group of people, you're going to act a certain way. It's like being in a relationship. If a person eats you garbage, you nine times out of ten, you don't know, but you want to start eating garbage also. And everything is nutrition, based on nutrition. All right? So, we're going to touch on that. We're going to touch on the media a little bit um, and go a lot right along with Brother Dio was talking about. You know, and uh, first of all, I have to give my brothers in New York, the twins, for this, this here. Most of you see my DVDs, we always represent. This is nutrition. And trust me, it would get attention, like Dino said, create that shirt. And that was in my head when he said that. I'm going to create that shirt. I didn't throw it out like what I'm going to do. But you can take it. check, two minute check. Two check. But um, that, this is nutrition, you know, and I was, we just left New York yesterday and I was like, yo, you got to make this shirt, man. I seen it on the, um, on the page and I had to run to New York. He created the shirt that day so I could bring it here and wear it. Because, like, most people look at this shirt and say, oh, I like that. Because this is sending a different message. And I was in San City in Philadelphia and you should see it in court cases. Yeah. So, wait a minute. You know, state is like, you know, it's a conversation. So everything have to be nutrition from what we eat, what we're drinking, chlorophyll, alkaline water, what we're looking at. And that's why I joke with Brother Dilo when um, we were talking about entertainment, you know, education. I was um, with Karis one part of the time, mostly I'm with him most of the time. And he always would tell me to make things entertaining. I, I learned something from everybody. You could be a bum on the street, and I'm talking. You could probably be homosexual. I mean, learn something from that also. You know, so you learn something from everybody. And what happens, people think because they have a so-called degree in something, they know something. And most people don't even know the definition of a degree. Like, and when you understand the, the etymology or the uh, prefixes and suffixes of these words, you'll tell the best, seriously, the best scholar part. So if you don't have, have it, get a pen and a piece of paper, because I might be throwing some things out there, some questions you want to ask me. And this, this is one book that I want everybody to pick up. If you're not familiar with this book, this book, and I've had this book for probably a couple of years, and I'm still going through this book, finding things out in this book. It's called The Art of Deception by Nicholas Cabello. This book will start with, if you have this in your possession, The Art of War and The Prince. Capel. Capel. C A P A L D I. There's many different versions of this stuff. It's actually a lot of versions, but I would suggest you this version. And um, in here, it talks about the debate with Socrates and somebody else about the law. In here, should you obey a man's law if the law conflicts with the people? And 
God said yes, and then he went back and said no. And it actually teaches you how to actually make someone contradict themselves. Mm -hmm. It also talks about, oh yeah, it's, it's deep. Yeah, it, it's very deep, bro. The book is good. And what I used to do on the radio, when I was on the radio for four years, I would always like throw things out to attorneys or any professors or scholars. Because I'm not professing to know anything. I know. Professor means you're professor to know. Look it up. So what happened, I would do this a lot to them just to get them, and the article also says how to do certain things to make someone come your way. You will hunt them to make them come your way. So I may throw things out and then make you come to me. That's the article. Uh, isn't it a book, the article? Yes, it is. Yes, that book also. Okay. So, so I have the audio, the audio also. I have the audio in the book. But sometimes I may sit there and play the audio and just, you know, do work around the house on it. But I'm listening at the same time. Then I may say, oh, wait a minute, go back and rewind and say, oh, you need to say that. So those books you can have in your desk because all attorneys read those books. What is the art of war by? That was Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu. Sun Tzu. It's TZU, right? Yeah. yeah. Sun Tzu. I thought I had a copy. I just might have taken it out of my bag. But all your politicians and all attorneys know this. They all read this book. You know who they are. You can walk in your office. You know what you're looking for. You know what you're saying. Trust me, you're not right there today. And they quote sections out of it. They say, what do you know about that? But everybody. Now, ignorance of the law is no excuse, right? <coughs> Nobody was teaching you the law. All right? This is another book. I would have this book actually available. I had this book for some time now. Everybody's talking about the UCC, right? How many people saw this book? Anybody saw this book in here? What is it? Commercial Dictionary. Commercial Dictionary. A merchant law. In this book, 1801. Ah. This book is old. See how thick it is? It's very old. But I'm going to have to try to get a copy to have it available. It's a real thick book. And it's worth, worth it very much. And people were around talking about this UCC one thing. But in here, um, this book actually talks about commerce. It speaks about alien. Um, you have the law dictionary? You have the law dictionary, right? Now, in this book here, it tells you that aliens are persons born within the dominion of the crown of England. Aliens. When you read Black's Law Dictionary, it says aliens are persons under the 14th Amendment. Right? Subjects. That's what it's saying inside there. So in this book, to that book, it's telling you that if you're claiming to be under the 14th Amendment, you're now subject to the Queen of England. How do you know? Tony Blair, um, the, the, the prince and all when they come to Philadelphia, they come coming in the second check on their subjects. That's all they're doing when they come to Philadelphia. But they're still owned by the Commonwealth. DC is the District of Columbia. The Commonwealth. DC. That's a territorial zone. It has nothing to do with the 50 United States. It has something to do with the United States, which is a geographical area. So you have to look at these data. Some, I'm not, you have to, you may take this tape and go back and say, what is he talking about? How do you know? Like Brother Dino said, you have to be a researcher. You have to research these things. Now on the computer, I suggest never, don't look for so many things on the computer. Because people can pick what they want to put on the computer. And this is what got us in a lot of trouble. People going to the computer and finding out things, instead of saying, well, let me go on the computer for this, then let me take this over here to the law library or the regular library, and let me see where it's at. Every time I do a lecture, I tell people, don't take Sabir's word for it. I want you to do the research. I'm just going to give you the key where you can find it and how you can challenge them. And that's all you have to do is set the truth up besides the falseness. And this is why I said this book is very good, because she said you can always be the person on the facts. Here's another book. When I was talking about that, this book here, and it was funny, but I paid 50 cents for this book. It's called American Civics. Africa Van Bada said he was purchased a book for $100. I said, bam, where did you get it from? He said he went online.